That's the glory I've got on that little girl. Pick her up. I'm telling you, there's destiny here. There is destiny. Not many people have destiny. You do. And I declare over you in Jesus' name, you're going to fulfill it. Amen. Lift your hands, say amen. amen. You're going to fulfill that destiny. That's a beautiful anointing you feel on you. And I dedicate this child for the glory of God and the kingdom of God and the majesty and the glory of the Lord Jesus. What do you feel on you, girl? You can't explain it. It's the blessed Holy Spirit. You know, it's, 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 it's like being on sacred territory here. Look, look, look at what's happening to her. <gasps> Just a moment, just a moment, just a moment. Back her up a second. Look at that child. Look at what's happening, the vibration going through her body. Look at this. You see that? Like her whole body is. You can sit on the screen over there. Keep that camera on her. There's glory on her. Unspeakable joy. Unspeakable ecstasy. You, you wonder what is she's feeling in her own life and body right now. In the presence of the Lord is joy. In His presence is joy. Look at her. I don't even think I want to talk to her right now. She's under great glory. Come put the camera to her face very quickly. Don't get that close to her though. Just come, come, come put the camera to her face. Show her face. It's like ecstasy. Ecstasy. Lift your hands and thank God for it. Ecstasy. Complete freedom too. Ecstasy. Freedom. I worship you, Lord. Yeah, the Lord is bringing that out too, my dear. Complete freedom is coming with that ecstasy and joy. When I felt that ecstasy in Miss Quinn's meeting, I was set free from the bondages of my soul. The presence of the Lord brings liberty. Where he is, there is liberty. Yeah, this woman was diagnosed with glaucoma, and tonight she actually felt heat on that eye and felt come, come, uh, come, a healing come. and improvement in that eye. In the name of the Lord Jesus, everything goes. Bring, bring, bring the other ones quickly. The, the, the winds are shifting this, yeah, quick. This, this, uh, this woman had back pain. Tonight she felt heat and all the pain go. Every, come, come closer. That's the power of God here. It's a very thick presence here. How many sense that? It's like a thick presence of the Lord. That's bringing liberty to his people. This woman was, uh, had carpal tunnel syndrome, and uh, she felt electricity on her hands tonight during worship. Every bet, every bet, every bet. Pick her up. Every bet, every bet, every. Pick her up. What do you feel on you, girl? My dear, what do you feel on you? <sighs> Dear Lord, I don't think they even know how to speak anymore. Uh, bring that guy here. Pick him up, pick, pick, pick people up. 
This man's just been feeling the presence and heat of God come on him tonight during worship. There's a call on you, my brother. There's a call on you, my brother. And the earth is filled with its glory. You know, they're, they're just not sure what's happening to them, these people. It's very heavenly, Bruce. Some of them, when, it, when, when they're coming, it's more than healing. It's just, I don't God, I'm feeling it. It's almost like a weight. I'm actually feeling a weight. He'll never be the same taken back. This woman's been feeling the a earth dizziness. And, is uh, filled. Tonight she uh, she felt the Lord telling her to get out of her seat. With his glory. And she felt heat coming on her body. Yeah, but it's 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 much more than that. It's it's a deep. It's a very deep experience in the spirit. Wait, wait, just wait, just wait. You wonder what's happening to these people tonight. Every Monday night we've been here has been different. They're not only strong, but different. I mean, I'm still wanting to find out what he felt, what you experienced. You couldn't even walk here. Couldn't even stand. And you know, the Lord tonight is telling me something. He's sealing destinies. And I want you all to lift your hands and thank him. He's doing that for you. You know what I told you in that car. That's why I had Joshua. Joshua, come back here, Gonzalez. This man used to work with, uh, sit down here. Used to work with Nancy Harmon. And is now going to be working with us in the ministry to help Tim. And, and, I, and the Lord said, now, you, you, you just, and the song came to me. This just came to me. Because it was prophetic. Under the anointing you flow prophetically in song and word. And, and then the Lord said, no, and he is to be in there as one who will be a part of that trio of ministry in you. But it's like the Lord is sealing destinies. So, Father, I declare it over the people. See, there's you sweet people, many of you here sitting in this section. I sense three of you with amazing destinies that will shake nations. Destinies will shake nations. And, you, and I want to say this before, before we, 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 we move on to what God has for us still tonight. And I'm going to tell you that this is going to be a very different night. This is not something maybe it's happened before. Because destinies are being established under the anointing that's in this room. And in the last few weeks, two people lost their destinies who, were, who worked with me because they didn't realize how important that talent God gave them was. They walked away and the Lord spoke to me and he said, they don't realize they just threw away their destiny. And I told Tim who they were because people don't know why God will give somebody just one talent. It's all about testing do you realize your destiny? And there's some of you sitting right in this section. There's three of you right here. Two of you are women, in fact, girls. 
that have destiny on you. You, you need to run towards it and fight for it. You have to. You have to. And, and even while I'm talking, you're feeling it on your body. But there's also others here that already took that destiny, that already took hold of it. So the Lord doesn't have to show me who you are because you're already in. See, like you're in already. Okay? You're in. And your family's in. We saw that a few days back on you, you know, you guys back then. But many, many of you already are in. Joshua, you're in. You're in too. And, and you're in already. You've been in for a while. There's no turning back with us, Jim. But some people are being tested for destiny. So now some of you here need to speak up right now and establish it in Jesus' name. Come on, lift your hands and establish it over your life. Just say, Father, I establish my destiny. I establish my destiny and my future in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Bring this lady here. Yeah, this, this woman had stomach pain. Well, you know, it's, I know people are getting healed, but so much more. But what do you feel on you, girl? The pain is gone. Thank God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. The praise. Now, um, the, the, the people can go back to their seats because I'm feeling the winds shifting. The winds are shifting right here, right now. I really want to want to pray and establish some destinies here right now. So lift your hands, pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on. I just want to praise you. I want to lift my hands and say I love you, you are everything to me, and I, Joshua, stay here, exalt your holy name, I exalt your holy name, I exalt your holy name on high now 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 as i'm as i'm singing to the lord there's god is some of you are feeling a, a hand touch you so lift your hands come on and i i shh, just want to praise you heavenly lift my hands and say I love you you are everything to me and I exalt your holy name I exalt your holy name I exalt your Holy name on high. Now, 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 in the next few minutes, some of you are going to feel a hand on your shoulder. And I just want to praise you. Back up, back up. Lift my hands and say, I love you, you are everything to me and I exalt your holy name I exalt your holy name I exalt your holy name just one more time and I just want to praise 
Exalt your holy name. Ah, exalt your holy name. The Lord is telling me. The Lord is telling me, and I just want to. Praise you. Some of you feel a hand that just touched you. Right in this section. Look at me. Look, look, look. Some of you felt a hand touch you. You did? On your shoulder. Who else? Who else felt that hand touch you? Wave at me. You felt it, Phyllis? Describe it. Can you talk? What did you feel? Huh? Yes, he does have something else for you to do. Now, as you sing, I just want to praise you. A number of you are going to feel someone touch you on the shoulder. And I just want to praise you. Leave my hands and say, I love you, you are everything to me, and I, there's another one over here, exalt your holy name, there's, there's about three or four on the balcony feeling something on your, on, uh, like, like a touch on your shoulder, I exalt your holy name on high. One more time. We're going to sing it again. And I just want to praise you. Live. Some of you in your homes are, are sensing the touch of a hand on your shoulder. That's the Lord's hand touching you. The Lord's hand is touching you. And I exalt your holy name. How many of you feel a hand that touched your shoulder? Can you wave at me? On the balcony, how many of you? Just wave, wave. Put the, put the camera up there. If you felt a hand touch your shoulder, just wave like that. And I just want to praise you. It's, it's like the Lord. I was in a meeting years ago of Maurice Sorello's in Canada when I was a young man. I was way in the back. And next to me was people from our church. There was a lady named Marilyn Stroud, Marilyn Stroud. And I'm worshiping God. Don't, don't stop because the Lord is still doing it. And a hand touched me here, right on my arm. And I opened my eyes. I said to Marilyn, I said, yeah, because I thought she touched me. And she said, what? I said, what do you want? She said, she looked at me like I was losing my head. So I went, went back to worship, and the hand touched me again. So I said, well, what do you want? And she said, what are you talking about? I said, you touched my arm. She said, no, I didn't. So I went back to worship. And the third time, the, 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 the hand that touched my arm... I heard the voice of the Lord clear, like audible. The, the voice of a man next to my ear. There, there was a lady there. But there was a, a man's voice next to my ear. Like, and he said, 
I need you. I need you. And I was quite shaken. And when I looked at Mel and she was, her eyes were closed and arms were in, the, you know, uplifted, worshiping God. And the power of God hit me so strong when the Lord said, I need you. Well, I'm here to tell you, he needs you. And he needs you. And he needs you. And he needs you. And you, and you up there. And I want you all to lift your hands and say, I'm ready. And he needs you. And I can tell you, how many of you in the last few, few minutes felt a hand touch you? Wave at me. W wave over here. And wave over here. And wave over here. And wave up there again. Look at all the hands up there. It felt a hand touch them. I've never had that happen in the studio. See, he's establishing destinies tonight. Thank him now. Come on, lift your hands and thank him. He's establishing destinies tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you.